actually a really, really good day uh, coming back from the winter break. Um, we have had our struggles with getting our practice in, but we have we did amazing today. We were able to find our lines, hit our spares, get strikes, and we were able to string and be a team today. I think the biggest, the essential part is to, for at least today was getting those spares. Spares is a critical, critical part, and I feel like I did a fairly well, fairly good job getting my spares today. It definitely is exciting because we're able to obviously be kind of close to our campus and it's exciting to kind of have like pride in our school to show like you know we have a program and we're here to compete and we're here to like show what we are. I think the team ultimately performed really well. Um, obviously this is our first time hosting and leading the tournament and actually competing in it. I felt with that we never really let off the gas pedal until maybe that match against Valpo but we had a Ultimately, everybody has rough patches, but we didn't let that stop us. We ultimately continued on and did great. I think that I ultimately performed really well. Um, I normally don't bowl anchor that much, but ultimately uh, being in that position, I didn't want to let the team down, but I felt like I bowled really well. I struck when we needed to. I uh, threw three strikes in the 10th frame to help that team ultimately tie a couple games and then throw some 200s when needed. I felt like it was amazing. It was a whole different experience on having such a huge support system here. Um, we had our parents, but we also had some of our teammates and some of our family and friends here. It felt really nice to have people here supporting us and we, had, we never let off and we just felt loved and happy throughout the entire thing, with, which ultimately helped us. The team performance was fantastic. We finally got the, the team to gel together, have a lot of energy. Um, we broke a program record of shooting a 1,079, which was fantastic. Um, even to shoot nine, seven, or a low 900, um, which is still fantastic in a tournament like this. But to follow it up with another 1,000, that was amazing to see. A um, little bit of struggle towards the end, but I mean, program record, uh, leading the tournament, throughout the whole day. Uh, you know, it would have been nice to go 5-0, and oh, but it was, a, it was a dirty match, as I'll call it, that fourth set. And unfortunately, barely lost, but the girls still stayed strong, and we pulled out the last one. Coming out of the break, we, we struggled finishing the first half of the year. Um, we've had a couple team meetings, and uh, we just had some hard talks to get things squared away. And as it showed today, the girls were able to pick each other up. If somebody opened, all of a sudden there's three, four strikes in a row from the next females after. And that was the key. The fact that they didn't get down on themselves and they stayed focused and were able to pick each other up. That, that was the key. Uh, I wasn't there for the first half. It's my first time coaching the women, so different experience from the men. But uh, to see it and have Coach DePaul behind me helped, helped a lot. Hosting the Peacock Classic, I'll tell you what, Coach DePaul does a fantastic job. And she is never more excited to do something like this, especially for the university. But to get the women to actually compete and to do what they did today, I tell you what, the energy is high and I just hope we uh, continue it tomorrow after we have some talks. We started off strong bowling against Newman, doing our school record 1079 for a team baker. It, not only was it surprising, it was phenomenal to watch in front of me. Um, while I'm running the tournament, Coach Landry is helping out their ladies, and to come down and see their success the first match really continued on through the entire day. It, it, I don't know how, I'm, right now I'm speechless. I really am. <laughs> Since we didn't get to compete last year for our first tournament of the season as a Peacocks, it broke my heart. and. As much as I wanted us to get into the tournament in bowl last year, I knew we would have future events to look forward to. To see our success this season in this tournament, I don't want to cry. <laughs> um, and I probably will have the tears rolling down my face as I'm driving back to Fayette this evening. I'm, I'm, I'm so, I don't know how else to describe it. I'm surprised, I'm shocked, I'm not surprised, I'm not shocked. They found a way to come together today. I, yeah, I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> execution, 100% execution. Also maintaining the pocket, picking up our spares, and staying ahead of Newman because Newman is chasing us right now and they're a conference foe for us in the GLVC. They're also ranked. So as long as we stay ahead of them tomorrow, we've got a great shot of starting off in the championship bracket on Sunday, which makes me feel good. <laughs>